Digikey and Adafruit bring you Alright, this week's Iron NPI is from POI Audio. They That's make right. cool speakers and enunciators and all sorts of audio projects and products. And the most excellent logo. The logo is like pretty it. sweet. And actually, it's an updated logo, too. Um, they sell a lot This is like the Joy Division album that never happened. It's cool. Yeah, it's got a yeah. cool chill to it. Yeah. Um, so PUI makes speakers and microphones and all sorts of audio stuff that's actually uh, here in the U.S., which is super cool. It was like supporting American companies. And this week's uh, NPI, actually a bunch of really great NPIs just dropped on DigiKey slash Duo. So check that out. A bunch of cool new sensors and revisions. Looks like everyone's getting back in their new product game. Um, this week we saw this really nifty product that basically, you know, one of our first NPIs was an all-in-one uh, indicate like an audio indicator like you plug it in it would make a siren noise and the reason we were looking at products like that is because a lot of people were making um, ventilators and one of the things ventilators have to do is when somebody starts their blood their pressure is too high or too low they have to make an audio alert so we were kind of showing off here's some audio alerts that just came in on digikey well this is kind of an upgrade to that so this is like you know remember when everyone had the same phone like like, no flip phone. Yeah, it was there the like, StarTac. We all had them. Everyone had the StarTac, and there was, like, this was even before ringtones. Like, eventually, people could customize their ring, but at, at the beginning, everyone had the same exact ring. Yeah. And then it was like, well, you could program your phone to have a different ringtone. And that's what this NPI basically is. It's a programmable speaker that it works just like most of the enunciators that you're used to. You know, you give it, like, 12 volts power, and usually it would make a siren noise or beeps or tones. But this time, it's got a USB port on the side you see there, and you can reprogram it. So it's actually this is like one of the shortest NPIs. It's so easy to use. You just plug it in, and it shows up as a disk drive called yeah, Flash. Yeah, very Circuit Python like by the way, which like that's the lens we look through everything. If I'm plugging in something, it better show up as a USB drive at this point. That's right. So this shows up as the disk, you know, Flash disk. It has about four megabytes of free space, and then all you have to do is you create an MP3 file, you drag it over like this, you know, this actually came with a one kilohertz uh, zero dB MP3 tone, which is incredibly loud and annoying, but, but, but I replaced it. But wait, why is this even possible? I thought you needed like a license to use MP3s Well, or I'm something. glad you mentioned it because you've actually done a great job covering how the MP3 patent pool has expired. And so you can sell products that have MP3 decoding in them without having to worry about paying a licensing fee, which normally yeah. would be like a buck or two uh, per device. Why do that? MP3s should be free. Music there to be listened to. So um, what's just neat is I like the simplicity, right? It's just a speaker. It's an 8 ohm half watt speaker. It kind of shows up as a drive. You drag files onto it, and then you power it, and it plays the files through. And that's it. Really simple. There's no user interface. There's nothing that can go wrong. Um, it uses flash memory for storage, so you don't have to worry about vibration or like an SD card coming out. Um, so I thought I would demo it. Yeah, and uh, just by the way, I, you know, I get... Lots of emails from people like, all I do is want to have an MP3 play when I turn on a thing for something, something, something. And like, this this, is it. this will do it. This is the easiest, fastest, yeah. best way to do it. So this is, and it's just an MP3. It's just MP3. So this is the device. You can see there's a speaker, and then there's these cool mounting tabs. It's FCC and C certified, so it's great for easy inclusion. It's fully enclosed. Um, that's the mini, B. I don't know why they use mini B. It's one thing that's a little bit of a mystery, but it's mini B. Everybody has adapters. Everyone has, Deal everyone with. has at least one mini DB cable. Deal with it. Plug it in, shows up as a disk drive. I dragged over a file, and then here's just my DC power. And once it's done playing the song, it'll loop. So we'll start playing it. This has a little bit of a silent period. So it's nice and loud, right? It's, it's effective. It wasn't even like the highest power. It's only on like five volts or so. Um, so I thought I'd show the innards because I thought that would be very interesting. So thank you, assistant, for pointing out I put it right next to me. This is the first thing I asked. I'm like, what's going on with this? Because I like things that show up as USB drives. Yeah, so I cracked this open. And inside, so yeah, there's these two power wires, and um, they go into a, um, I can't remember the part number, one second, it's 2576 uh, DC-DC buck converter, 
So um, this is uh, an equivalent to an LM, like a, a net semi part that is very popular. Uh, you can see here the diode and um, the inductor and capacitor input and output and for the buck converter. Big old caps. Uh, there's a Winbond SPI flash. We actually have SPI as one of our new products. So mm. this is a four megabyte flash chip. And then this is kind of a cool, like, very low cost, all it does is play MP3 chip. Um, you can get you the part number. It is. Yeah. I was curious. Okay. So there's the LM2576, the Winbond 25Q32, and this is the GZUT, GZUT MA2. So all in one MP3 player that pretty, pretty much does all the logic. But I just love it. It's like it's all enclosed, it's glued shut, it's easy to use. And then there's a little. Um, audio amplifier, there's an output capacitor, I guess, and then um, an amplifier chip, and then it goes to a speaker that is nicely mounted in this case. So it's just so easy, and it's not that much more expensive than a normal siren. Um, and then there's, like, on the back, there's all these little surface mount passive components. So uh, that's my MPI. I, just, I like that, you know, and I looked, I think, for people who are doing, um, you know, car hacking projects or like Halloween projects or um, anything that you just want to play a sound. Yeah. Anything also that you may want to play a sound because you want to think about assistive tech. So yeah. you might have something where maybe someone can't see something, but they can have a audio alert, all sorts of things you can do. And the thing is, it's like, yeah, could you make this cheaper cheaper by, like, making your own PCB? Yeah, yeah but nothing beats the simplicity. But, like, you know... It just it, works. I, I'll give you another example. Let's say if you wanted to have the, you know, the alert when something happens plays instructions. Yeah. Um, you know, we got this... Uh, so, during the pandemic, we said, uh-oh, there's not going to be, like... Um, Paramedics. So we got the uh, defibrillators for each floor at Adafruit. Yeah. And if you go through the training, basically when you pull the, the cord on the device, it starts talking to you it just, to give you the instructions to save someone's life potentially. So I was thinking about that. It's like, that's cool, but like, what if I wanted to replace those sounds? Obviously not on a defibrillator, but something like this makes it super easy because someone who's non-technical can just plug it in, drag and drop a file, and now they have maybe another language alert. Maybe they have something else. So this it's is so I, easy. This is like one of my favorite new products, by the way. It's, it's like, the simplicity is what yeah. makes it um, awesome. And speaking of simple and making it easy, you all you have to do it. is get on DigiKey. It has a, it does have a long part number, I will say. Uh, so use the short URL, uh, Z2DP0Z, uh, and um, you can pick up one of these API. It's, what's funny is it's called the API. It's like an audio, audio programmable interface or something. Um, yeah. And pick these up. It's super easy, and just you know, drag the MP3 over and power it, and it just works for me. I'll give you another use. Yeah. You ha want to have the Star Trek door swoosh sound? Yeah. Very easy to do with this. You just no have a ding, ding, ding. No programming. It's just turning it on and off. That's right. You just hook it up. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. You just have a relay with you know, instead of a relay, you can just use the magnetic switch that detects when something opens. Yeah. Connect it to power. Connect it to this. You even use some, like, wire nuts. You can have the door sigh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy style. Uh, yeah, I like that. Those uh, depressed doors. Uh, uh, so, so there you go. That's this week's NPI. Right. Is the API. Yeah. I on NPI.